Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Origins 2019. I'm sitting down with Elliot and Ozzy um, Redskin, who are from Tessellation Games, and you guys have brought us Obelisk. Yes. Obelisk is a cooperative tower defense game where you try to capture all of the monsters before they escape. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. <laughs> and I had to ask for the box back because I, I am fascinated by this already that you, you do indeed use the box during the game. Yep. So I'm going to immediately give this back to you Thank because you so we're much. going to need it. We'll need that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So aside from a, a cooperative tower defense game, take us through what to expect. Okay, so you are advisors to the queen. The queen has gone off on holiday, leaving you in charge of her kingdom. I like this already. <laughs> so, of course, as soon as she left, monsters start pouring out of this portal right here. I like this less so now. And following the blue arrows around your town, trying to take over. Ah, okay, so if this is our portal, they're going to go this way first. Yes. That's, That's correct. So, you have to capture all of the monsters before they walk off the map, walk into a mountain, or walk in a loop. <laughs> I am having that, uh, that image of a monster kind of going... Yep. Into a mountaintop. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, I guess we say that, oh, they, you know, they set up a base up there and they call for reinforcements. Okay, but you know, um, maybe we're part of like the, the the ASPCA of monsters or something, like we're Monster Protection Agency. Sure. You know, those monsters and mountains, they do not get along. So. Definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. Additionally, we don't want monsters to escape off the map. For example, like starting on the portal and then walking off the map, because then they're going to get into the queen's garden and mess up all of her roses. Bad news. No, it's, yeah. it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. <laughs> um, so as a player, take me through what my turn would feel like. Exactly. So there's a day phase and a night phase to the game. Um, in the day phase, we are all going to choose some actions to take. Those actions are going to help us capture monsters in some way, shape, or form. And then during the nighttime, we're going to draw uh, six random monsters from the Dark Realm, and they are going to um, come out on that portal tile and wander around the map following the arrows. And I'm going to highlight this a little bit on the overhead that this is the box top. Just yes. or excuse me, this, this is the bottom. The box bottom. That's the bottom. Yes. But also uh, meant to be used yes. because uh, you guys have actually put a uh, Dark Realm there on the, the yeah uh, exactly yes. on the box wrap. So. Yes. Yeah. So you can draw them randomly from the Dark Realm, so you don't necessarily know what monsters are coming. Um, the types of things that players can do on their turn is shown on the nifty little player guides that we've provided here. Um, so the first one is place an obelisk. Your dice are actually your obelisks in this game. And when you place them, you can put them at the corner of the tiles, like this or like that. And it's going to be able to capture monsters on the surrounding four tiles. You can also put them on the edge of the map if you want to, but it's only going to have access to two tiles. Right. And that obelisk is going to be able to capture monsters that are nearby, which is great. Anytime we capture a monster, that monster is going to go into our shared resource pool. <laughs> now, um, our shared resource pool is important, as I'll get to in a moment. Um, there's another way that we can add resources to this, which is to perform the mine action, which is the second Same. action listed there. Matching symbols, certainly. <laughs> Matching symbols. Um, and for that, we are actually going to take a green monster out of the supply, um, which is the box top. Um, we're going to take a green monster out of the supply and add it to our shared resource pool. Now, why do we care about resources? That's because the last action here, which is the reinforce action, allows us to upgrade any obelisk we have out on the board, but we have to pay for it. Wow, makes sense. So that's how we do our engine obelisk building in this game. Beautification does not happen no. by itself. <laughs> you have to pay someone for to do this. So. Um, there are multiple different combinations of monsters that you can pay in order to upgrade the obelisks that you have out on the board. And so, for example, two blues, um, you can pay that to the supply in order to upgrade one of your obelisks. And now it's bigger and stronger and can capture bigger and stronger monsters. Um, do you want to explain the last action? Sure. Remember when we said the monsters always come out of the portal? Right. They're going to follow these arrows. So right now our monsters would go one step and, and then bam, right out of the, the kingdom. Board. Which is generally bad. Remember, Rose Garden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so one of the actions that we can do as players is to rotate the tiles. So these green pieces are rotation markers. You can rotate a tile as far as you want. But once you rotate it, 
the rotation marker actually comes off, and that tile is set for the game. Oh. <laughs> so you better choose wisely on how you want to path the monsters around the map. But at least you are doing that very deliberately, and I imagine that path is going to just continue to snake yeah. itself that's all the way around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. That's the goal. <laughs> Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit of strategic obelisk placement, a little bit of path planning on how you want to run them around the board, and again, collecting monsters in order to upgrade the obelisks that you have out on the board. And let's talk a little bit about the art style of this, because, sure. you know, it was a, did you guys contract out for one artist to it do was all this? actually my aunt, who does children's books. That's wonderful. And one of the really important things for us for this game was to make it family friendly. And someone I know was the driving force behind that. <laughs> so I was an only child, and there, when I was growing up, there weren't a lot of one-player games available. So we wanted to be just as fun for, as a one-player game as with four players. Mm. So this game is fully playable from one to four players. All of the rules balance out, so you have a different number of tiles you can rotate or a different number of resources. But it is fully playable as a one-player game. <laughs> And then we also wanted um, the, the monsters in the game not to be too scary because we wanted it to be family friendly. So we wanted, we wanted you to be able to sit down with your kids and play this game right, and for yeah. them not to have nightmares after the end of it. Yeah, right. like they could kind of personify whatever they want sure. out of sure. these. I mean, you sure. know, sort of put whatever character they thought would right. be a good exactly. monsterness to blue or to yeah. green. Right. Yeah. No monsters are killed. All the monsters are captured. <laughs> they just happen to turn to stone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we have, I mean, we have little monster icons here on the player guides as but well. Silly. And you could very much interpret that however yeah, you want to. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we're trying to make it family friendly, something that, that people can enjoy with their, with their well, kids. Well, I, I, speaking for myself at least, I think you've resoundingly succeeded on Excellent. that. Excellent. Can we're I, if I got to steal your supply back for, for a brief moment. Absolutely. So if people are interested in getting this, is it available now? Is this something that's going to be coming up soon? It will be available in about a month and a half. Um, we currently have a shipment waiting to come over from China. Hopefully tariffs not included. <laughs> um, so yeah, just from our website, tessellationgames.com. That's where you'll be able to find it. Well, and there you go. That was my question of uh, how do you find that. If you guys want to check this out, this is Omelette, which is being published by Tessellation Games. And Elliot and Ezzy, thank you so much for letting us take a look. Thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> we really appreciate it.